the things you can see only when you slow down. Welcome to Positive Vortex, the channel dedicated to exploring books that inspire positive change and personal growth. Today, we're diving into the timeless wisdom of Heman Sanim's, the things you can see only when you slow down. In a world that never stops, this book is your guide to finding tranquility, clarity, and meaning in the chaos. So, take a deep breath, let go of the rush, and join us as we embark on a journey of self-discovery and mindfulness. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for insights and inspiration that can transform your life. Let's begin our exploration of the things you can see only when you slow down. Introduction. In the relentless hustle and bustle of modern life, we often find ourselves caught in a whirlwind of tasks, responsibilities, and distractions. Amidst this chaos, our inner peace and well-being can become casualties of our hectic schedules. However, there is a beacon of hope, a guide to tranquility and mindfulness amidst the storm. The things you can see only when you slow down, by Heman Sanin. In this extended introduction, we will delve deeper into the significance of this book, the author's expertise, and why it is a crucial read in today's world. The significance of slowing down. Imagine for a moment that you are standing in the midst of a forest, surrounded by towering trees, their leaves gently rustling in the breeze. You close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let the serenity of the moment wash over you. This simple act of slowing down, of being fully present in the moment, is at the heart of Heman Sanim's teachings. In a world that seems to accelerate with each passing day, the concept of slowing down can feel like a luxury. However, Sanim argues that it is not a luxury, it is a necessity for our mental and emotional well-being. He reminds us that the things we often seek, clarity, peace, purpose, can only be found when we take the time to slow down and truly see the world around us. Author's expertise. Heman Sanim is not just an author. He is a Zen Buddhist teacher and a practitioner of mindfulness. His journey into mindfulness began at a young age, and over the years, he has honed his expertise in this transformative practice. His teachings have resonated with millions around the world, making him a leading voice in the field of mindfulness and self-discovery. Sanim's deep understanding of human nature, coupled with his extensive knowledge of Buddhist philosophy, shines through in his writing. He has a unique ability to distill complex concepts into simple, actionable advice that anyone can apply to their daily lives. His words resonate with authenticity and wisdom, making him a trusted guide for those seeking a path to inner peace and clarity. Why this book matters. The things you can see only when you slow down is not just another self-help book. It is a roadmap to a more meaningful and mindful existence. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with information, expectations, and distractions, this book serves as a beacon of light, guiding us back to ourselves. In the following sections, we will embark on a journey through the chapters of this book, exploring its core themes and insights. We will uncover the invaluable lessons it offers on mindfulness, self-care, relationships, and self-acceptance. By the time we reach the conclusion, you will understand why The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down is a book that has the potential to transform lives. Join us as we navigate the pages of this profound work and let its wisdom illuminate your path to a more mindful, purposeful, and fulfilling life. Let's dive into an extended analysis of the chapters in The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down. Chapter 1. The world moves fast, but you don't have to. In this foundational chapter, Heman Sanim introduces the central theme of the book, the importance of slowing down in a fast-paced world. He encourages readers to pause, take a breath, and reflect on the frenetic nature of modern life. Sanim's insights reveal how our obsession with speed can lead to stress, anxiety, and a sense of disconnection from our true selves. He sets the stage for a journey towards mindfulness and self-discovery. Chapter 2. Rest. Rest, both physical and mental, is the focus of this chapter. Sanim emphasizes that rest is not a luxury but a fundamental need for our well-being. He explores the concept of nurture rest and offers practical tips on how to integrate restful moments into our daily routines. This chapter provides a powerful reminder that replenishing our energy is essential for sustained productivity and happiness. Chapter 3. Mindfulness. Mindfulness takes center stage in this chapter, with Sanim providing a comprehensive guide to practicing mindfulness in daily life. He explores the benefits of being fully present in the moment, from reducing stress to enhancing creativity. 
Sanim's teachings on mindfulness offer a practical roadmap for those seeking to cultivate a more focused and peaceful mind. Chapter 4, Passion. Sanim invites readers to rediscover their passions and interests in this enlightening chapter. He argues that genuine passion is a source of happiness and purpose. By encouraging readers to reconnect with their interests and desires, Sanim helps them embark on a journey of self-discovery and fulfillment. By delving deeper into these chapters, readers can gain a richer understanding of Heem and Sanim's teachings and how they can be applied to their own lives. Each chapter offers valuable insights and practical guidance, making The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down a transformative guide to mindfulness and well-being. Chapter 5. Relationships. Relationships are a cornerstone of our lives, and Sanim explores their significance in this chapter. He delves into the art of listening, empathy, and understanding, offering valuable insights into nurturing healthy connections with others. This chapter is a reminder that meaningful relationships are essential for our overall well-being. Chapter 6. Love for Imperfect Things. The final chapter of the book encourages readers to embrace imperfection, both in themselves and in others. Sanim advocates for self-compassion and self-love, emphasizing that our flaws and vulnerabilities are what make us uniquely beautiful. This chapter serves as a powerful conclusion to the book, reinforcing the message that self-acceptance is the key to a more fulfilling life. By delving deeper into these chapters, readers can gain a richer understanding of Heman Sanim's teachings and how they can be applied to their own lives. Each chapter offers valuable insights and practical guidance, making The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down a transformative guide to mindfulness and well-being. Let's expand on the keynotes and key takeaways from The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down. These keynotes and key takeaways provide a comprehensive overview of the profound wisdom contained within The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down. Each insight offers a pathway to a more mindful, purposeful, and fulfilling life. Keynote 1. Slowing down in a fast-paced world. In today's frenzied world, where busyness is celebrated, Heman Sanim's message is clear. Slowing down is not a luxury but a necessity. It's a call to action to break free from the grip of constant activity and find solace in stillness. By embracing a slower pace, we can rekindle our connection with ourselves and the world around us. Key Takeaway 1. Embrace the power of pause. Sanim encourages us to pause, take a breath, and observe the world with fresh eyes. This simple act of mindfulness can lead to greater clarity and a deeper appreciation of life's beauty. Keynote 2. Rest is a fundamental need. Rest is not laziness. It's a vital component of a healthy and productive life. Sanim's insights into the importance of rest, both physical and mental, remind us that replenishing our energy is essential for sustained well-being. Key takeaway 2. Prioritize self-care. Incorporate restful moments into your daily routine. Whether it's a short break in nature or a few minutes of deep breathing, prioritize self-care to recharge your body and mind. Keynote 3. The Art of Mindfulness. Mindfulness is the cornerstone of this book, and Sanim offers a comprehensive guide on how to practice it in our daily lives. By being fully present in each moment, we can reduce stress, enhance creativity, and find a profound sense of peace. Key Takeaway 3. Practice Mindful Living. Cultivate mindfulness by dedicating moments to truly experiencing the present. Whether it's savoring a meal or taking a mindful walk, these practices can transform your daily experience. Keynote 4. Rediscover your passions. Passion is a source of happiness and purpose. Sanim invites us to reignite our interests and desires, reminding us that our passions are a reflection of our authentic selves. Key takeaway 4. Explore your interests. Reconnect with your passions and explore new interests. These pursuits not only bring joy but also deepen your understanding of yourself. Keynote 5. Nurturing relationships. Our relationships are essential to our well-being, and Sanim explores the art of deep connections. Through active listening, empathy, and understanding, we can build meaningful relationships that enrich our lives. Key takeaway 5. Cultivate connection, invest time in nurturing your relationships. Be present, listen actively, and practice empathy to foster deeper connections with loved ones. Keynote 6. Love for imperfect things. In the final chapter, Sanim urges us to embrace imperfection, both in ourselves and others. Self-compassion and self-love are the keys to self-acceptance and a more fulfilling life. Key takeaway 6. Embrace your flaws. 
Celebrate your imperfections, they make you unique. Practice self-compassion and let go of the pursuit of perfection. Let's expand on some notable quotes from The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down by Heman Sanim. These notable quotes offer deeper insights into Heman Sanim's teachings, providing profound wisdom on mindfulness, self-compassion, and the art of living in the present moment. 1. The world is quiet here. Only when we know how to be silent can we truly understand what is precious in life. This quote underscores the value of silence and stillness. It reminds us that by embracing quiet moments, we can discover the true beauty and significance of life's simple pleasures. 2. The present moment is the only time over which we have dominion. Sanin's wisdom here emphasizes the importance of living in the present. It reminds us that the only moment we truly have control over is the now. By being fully present, we can shape our lives in meaningful ways. 3. You are stronger than your fears. You are more than capable of handling whatever comes your way. This quote serves as an empowering reminder that we have the inner strength to face our fears and overcome challenges. It encourages us to believe in our resilience and capabilities. 4. Rest is an essential part of our journey. Without rest, we cannot be our best selves. Sanin's insight into the significance of rest highlights the need for balance in our lives. It reinforces the idea that rest is not a luxury but a fundamental requirement for personal growth and well-being. 5. Love is the energy that connects us to others. Love is the force that binds us to our humanity. Love is a recurring theme in Sanim's book, and this quote encapsulates its central importance. It reminds us that love is the unifying force that connects us to one another and defines our shared humanity. 6. When you make peace with your imperfections, you create a space for happiness to enter. This quote speaks to the transformative power of self-acceptance. It encourages us to embrace our imperfections and recognize that true happiness can only thrive in an atmosphere of self-compassion. 7. The greatest gift you can give someone is your presence. The greatest gift you can give yourself is the present moment. Sanim's words highlight the value of being fully present in our interactions with others. It reminds us that presence is the most meaningful gift we can offer both to ourselves and to those we care about. 8. In the rush to get to the next moment, we often forget the beauty of the one we're in. Slow down, breathe, and enjoy the beauty around you. This quote encourages us to savor the present moment rather than constantly rushing towards the future. It's a call to appreciate the beauty that surrounds us right now. Conclusion, embracing a slow and mindful life. Heman Sanim's book, The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down, is a profound exploration of the art of mindfulness and the beauty of living in the present moment. It's a journey that takes us through the pages of the book and, more importantly, through the corridors of our own minds and hearts. Sanim's teachings are a gentle reminder that life's greatest treasures are often hidden in plain sight those fleeting moments of stillness, the embrace of silence, and the acknowledgement of our own imperfections. These are the things we can see and experience only when we slow down, pause, and truly pay attention. Through his insights, Sanin guides us towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. He encourages us to cultivate self-compassion, practice gratitude, and nurture our connections with others. By doing so, we can find peace, happiness, and fulfillment. The central theme of this book revolves around the concept of mindfulness, a practice that allows us to fully engage with life's experiences, no matter how ordinary or mundane they may seem. It's about being present in every moment, embracing life as it is, and finding contentment in the now. As we reflect on Sanim's teachings, it's clear that the journey to a more mindful and meaningful life is ongoing. It's not about achieving perfection but rather about continuous growth and self-discovery. It's about understanding that there will be challenges, moments of doubt, and times when we falter, but these are all part of the beautiful tapestry of life. So, how can we apply Sanim's wisdom in our daily lives? It starts with small steps, moments of stillness, acts of self-compassion, and intentional presence. It involves carving out time for self-care and cultivating meaningful relationships. It's about acknowledging that imperfection is part of being human and that self-love and self-forgiveness are essential. In the busyness of the modern world, it's easy to forget the simple joys that surround us, the warmth of a smile, the sound of laughter, the beauty of nature, and the depth of human connection. Sanim's book encourages us to pause, breathe, and appreciate these moments. As you embark on your own journey of mindfulness and self-discovery, 
remember that it's not a destination but a continuous path. Take the time to revisit this book's teachings whenever you need guidance or inspiration. And above all, be kind to yourself along the way. In a world that often values speed and achievement, the things you can see only when you slow down, invites us to embrace a different pace. A pace where we notice the intricate details of life, where we find solace in silence, and where we learn to love and accept ourselves as we are. So, slow down, dear reader. Take in the beauty of this very moment. The things you can see, feel, and experience when you do are boundless. May your journey be filled with mindfulness, self-compassion, and the profound joy of living fully in the present. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of mindfulness. If you have any questions, comments, or experiences you'd like to share, please feel free to do so in the comments section below. Your engagement and insights are truly appreciated. In the spirit of mindfulness and self-compassion, I invite you to slow down, embrace the present moment, and continue your journey toward a more meaningful and fulfilled life. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell, so you won't miss our upcoming book summaries and enriching content. In the next video we will explore and delve into the book, Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before, by Dr. Julie Smith.